while we have seen a lot of fighters expeditiously rise to mixed martial arts superstardom, but how about Alex Pereira? Crosses over into mixed martial arts from kickboxing and essentially takes the sport by storm? By storm, John. I mean, so fast to go from a guy that was what can be to the champion. But when you possess this level of skill, when your kickboxing is second to none, and then you train with Glover and you develop wrestling defense, you know that you have a chance. Pajeda not only had a chance, he took it all the way to the title. And tonight, he looks to get another victory. He's seemingly a perfect mix of intensity and composure. He has heart, championship medal, Alex Pereira, the total package. We're certainly glad he's here in the UFC. So here is the perennial heavyweight contender, former K-1 World Grand Prix champion Alistair Overeem in D.C. It's sort of hard to tell an effective history of heavyweights in MMA without coming across the name Overeem. Yes, because he's been a champion in every organization he's ever fought. As you said, K-1, dream champion, strike force champion. Has not held the UFC title, but has competed for it before in his career and will be looking to earn another chance at the championship high-level striker, but the one thing that is overlooked when you think of Alistair Overeem is that great guillotine choke that he has that he's finished a number of opponents with. for this heavyweight championship fight. All right, we send it back inside the octagon. Here is Bruce Buffer. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the main event of the evening. <laughs> Referee for this one. Ready. Go. So with a razor sharp focus, here is Alistair Overeem. Striking accuracy approaching 75%. We'll see if he can get that efficient game going here early time. one. Stuff the takedown, no problem. The fighters separate. Overing swelling now around. Oh. Well 
Well, the ground and pound has been on point tonight. Good work here by Pereira. Big ground and pound. Well, maybe ill-advised to be competing off your back, but he's landing. Oh, nice on the lift. Both guys appeared to land there. Just misses there with the left. A oh, really good job by him there to raise the guard, DC, and block those shots coming his way. He does a great job of blocking all incoming strikes. Oh, tags him with the strength. Nice job there by Pineda. Over and over, he is landing punches to the head. Nice jab to the dome by Pereira. Oh! You heard him real bad. Got the single ball tight. Overin's cheek looks like it's cut. Yes, it is. Starting to bleed a little bit now. Oh, stuffs the takedown without issue. Now some separation. Overin's cut. He's hurt bad. Lands a nice leg kick. Two minutes remain in the round. Misses with the right hand. Swing and a miss with that punch by the ring. Oh, he could be a one-eyed fighter here pretty soon. That left eye is starting to shut. Pretty good position here with the single collar in the clinch. All right, good job by him there to raise the guard and protect his head. He's doing a good job of keeping the guard high, blocking his head, making sure he's not taking those damaging strikes up top. Oh, beautifully placed in time kick there by Pereira. All right, so the narrative in this one has been Alex Pereira striking. He's landed a lot of power shots. Maybe the knockout will materialize in this round. And he breaks you down. Alex Pereira does not rush. He takes his time. He finds his spots to explode. He will beat you up. He will break you down over the course of time. And then when this is moment, bang, you see him put you out. We have seen this time and time again. The Sean Strickland. Oh, huge shot finds the target there. Great shot lands. Now he's got to go find that follow-up attempt. The kill shot is what they call it to go and end the fight. Low kick lands flush. 30 seconds now to go in the opening round. Oh, well, the calf kick has been a priority, and now his opponent is bruised in that area. It's all in the game plan, John. Oh! He's in trouble. There's a combination there by Overeem. for the clinch here. Looks like he's trying to recover. He was stunned a little bit earlier. Let's see if he can get a respite here. Watch it. There's the horn at the end of the round. He got knocked down just before the horn, so he'll walk back to his corner here. We'll see if they can get him physically, mentally back into the fight. What a moment at the end of that round. All right, so a big round for him there, DC. We'll go back and look at some of the highlights. Big knockdown for him. We'll see if he can follow it up. You could see that he was flowing. Everything was working in accordance to what he wanted it to be. And at the moment that it showed itself, the moment that the opportunity arrived, he jumped on it, got that big knockdown, and now he finds himself ahead in this fight. You ready to fight? Ready. Do Second it. round underway. Leg kick lands. Oh, doing work with the jab. Uppercut there blocked by the ring. Oh, 
perfect shot there, DC, and one more of those, he might be out. I mean, the fight is going to be over. I can't believe he's still standing. That shot landed perfect. And just misses with that big right hand. Well, it's been a wild fight thus far. Perhaps a contender for some bonus money at fight's end. These guys are going to have to dig deep. They're both hurt. They're both hurt. You expected it, though. You expected a close fight. You did not expect a war like this, though, where both guys, from the moment they said fight, went forward, got in each other's face, and just beat each other up. It's been tremendous. Oh! Another one! Lead kick is true there by Overeem. All right, well, good news is he rocked him. Bad news is he wasn't able to finish the job, and now his opponent's back in the fight. I mean, you don't get those opportunities very often. You got to take full advantage of them when they're presented to you. Just over three minutes now to go in round two. So the blood really starting to flow. Every time that area gets targeted, that cut's getting worse. It's getting worse and worse. And you see the blood starting to come down. That is when you start to watch the fighter to see what type of effect it's starting to take on him, whether or not he's reaching for it. Whether... Oh, the smoke! How about these two going at it? Start to see him limping a little bit after one of those leg kicks, so better make some adjustments or this fight could be over. You don't want to show it. That's why you see fighters when they get hurt, they smile. To be limping out there tells you how damaged this guy is. Well, there it is again, that left hook from Alex Pereira. He is in the zone tonight, Chief. I'm surprised you're still standing because Alex Pereira lands that left hook, generally you go to sleep. The guy is as powerful as anyone that we have seen in the UFC middleweight division. Just over two minutes now to go in round two. Well, looks as though his leg is hurt here. You can even see him limping a little bit. Oh, well done to block that powerful kick to the bottom. Oh, late defense on the takedown and scrambles to his feet. Nicely done. So a much different approach from him here in round two. Took him a while to find the range, get in his striking rhythm. He has found it here, and as a result, has really picked up the pace in round two. There's the kick, it's blocked. here you wonder how much weight he can put on that leg moving forward oh, right, hand barely missed there. right where he wants to be and Take a look back at the replay. It ends up a knockout, but this was really a striking clinic from the moment they touched Glow. I mean, a competitive fight that one guy finally found the shot that ended the fight. But both of these warriors just played a ton of heart. One guy got the finish, but neither guy should be disappointed in their performance. All right, here now, Bruce Buffer with the official decision. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Herb Deans called a stop to this contest at four minutes, 16 seconds of round number two. Declaring the winner by knockout and new undisputed UFC heavyweight champion of the world, Alex Politan. All right, you heard it there from Buff, Alex Pereira, your winner by knockout. Get used to hearing that.
That's exactly what he does. We have seen it on multiple occasions. The guy knows how to put your lights out, and we see him.